going on everybody um does anybody care to know where i am i'm over on the bike trails that's right yep i'm on the ray hill memorial trail oneida herkimer region 2 and i got big red with me specialized I checked all the tires on it before I hit the before I hit the trails. Made sure everything's good. May have to do a little servicing on it pretty soon, but it's not too bad for the most part. Doesn't the river look majestic? Especially when you're out on the bike trails. It looks magnificent, but you really got to be careful when filming. Lord knows if you did something with your camera. You're in trouble. Ooh, look at that waterfall. It would be more beautiful if I came down a little bit closer. But you know what? It is what it is. So this is, I'm in the New York Mills area. And if you go towards that area, all the way through, you can go to the New Hartford area. And then it ends over to the uh, Consumer Square up in New Hartford. I'll have to go on a little journey in just a few short seconds. So catch up with you guys in a bit. All right, guys, we are off and running. It's cloudy. It doesn't call for rain. It did rain a little bit last night and into the early morning, but it's supposed to be really mild. National grid. And like I said, if you go towards this way right here, you can easily go on the New Hartford Trail. But you really got to be careful where there's traffic over there. Because if you get out that way when there are cars there and you're not paying attention, you're effed. You're effed. And that means it's too late. And then the trails end here, and then there's another trail up ahead. So... Alrighty, guys. Yeah. There's a Texaco Ramada Inn. All right, catch you guys up in a bit. Okay, guys, we got past the trails over here. I'm in New Hartford, just about over there. Okay, let's continue our journey down the road. And I'm still working on getting a, a smartphone mount so I can start filming hands-free. And then later on, do some editing skills. So if you guys get a chance, you should check out these bike trails in central New York. They are, oh my gosh. I have not been on these trails since they first started in 2006. Maybe late 2005, I don't know. But these trails are remarkable if you come here. And the weather's perfect enough to do this as long as it's not sprinkling and raining and all that. So you really got to take your time on these trails and make sure that you're doing all you can or you're going to run into problems later on. I find the bike trails much easier to go that way so you can get out as much as possible. So, all right, just about closer to the trails. And, uh, okay, catch you around. All right, guys, we're just about close to the end of the trails. But I'm not going to go all the way there because I feel a little sprinkle. So I got to be careful about how to plan ahead. So. Alrighty, guys. Got to get up that hill. When you do, you'll be over right to where there might be a bridge there. I don't know. 
So I haven't been on these trails in a while. Not since they opened a few years ago. There's the highway. And then there's a couple of people there with their dog. So, I see people bring their dogs too. And then there's a way over there on the trails to where you can get there. Okay, there's the end of the trails. And then it goes right through here. But that's gonna be in another video. So once I do that, I'll let everybody know more about it. And there's a crosswalk. All right, guys, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop the uh, filming. And I hope everybody enjoys the video. And uh, thanks for watching and have a good one. Well, here it is, people. This is day two of the New York Mills to New Hartford bike trails. As you can see, New Hartford's on the left and New York Mills and Yorkville, they're on the right. So this is day two and this is much better weather in October than we've had yesterday. The temperature is 81 degrees and that's kind of weird for October, but I'll take it. So. We're gonna continue to go on that trail there. I had to stop because I wanna, just wanna show everybody what I'm going to do in this video. But uh, yeah, there's a lot of cars out there. All right guys, so without further ado, let's get started on this trail. Okay everybody, I'm back. Uh, there was no shortcut to get through here, so. I went and took a shortcut through the crosswalk. Then I had a dart all the way through there. Made a left. Then made a passed over. Over in the middle. Went across the street then came here. To get to the bike trails. Because there was no way out at that time. Alrighty, let's do it on up guys. And I'll show you where the trails end. I got enough battery life on my camera for uh, videos. So let's do it on up, guys. Basically, I'm in New Hartford, on the trails that is, and then Middle Settlement Road is up on your left, but I haven't gone that far since the trails opened up in 2006. So, look at all these apartment buildings here. I think they were built a few years ago, probably after the bike trails have ended, but I don't know. And then there's Middle Settlement Road, which leads to BOCES, which lead to the bike trails. The weather is a lot better than yesterday. Yesterday was sprinkling, then it turned to rain. I'm like, you know what? Good thing I did that video uh, yesterday. 
even though it's sprinkled a little bit. Come towards the end, so catch up with you in a bit, guys. Alrighty, guys. There's Middle Settlement Road North, and then there's Middle Settlement Road South. You'll be able to see some signs being posted on here. So, alrighty, guys. Catch you later. I didn't know that um, Middle Settlement Road, they opened up a steward shop over here. I did not know that. I bet their coffee tastes good or it tastes like junk. All right, guys, I'm going to cut the video. So uh, look for uh, part three. Okay, see you guys in a bit. Hey, guys. Welcome to part three of my biking video from the New, Har uh, New York Mills to New Hartford bike trails. Now I'm in the New Hartford section of the trails. This is called Ray Hill Memorial Trail. Remember when I wanted to, remember when I said I wanted to do a part two video? Well, I'm going to do a part three video because it's going to take too long if I do the other video. So we're going to get started on this wonderful bike trail season before, for all I know, it's going to be the last one. So, uh, all right, let's do it. All righty, guys. I promise you it's going to be the last one because I'm going to split the videos up into actually three sections. So, alrighty guys. Okay, so like I said, I'm right now in the Ray Hill Memorial Trails because I can get through there no problem. So, Like I said, there won't just be part two. This is part three of this video and there won't be a part four. So once I edit this video and break it down into four, into three videos, then it's ready. So today, right now is October the 18th, 2016. And it's after, it's actually 20 minutes after one, so. Beautiful fall day, uh, can't ask for more. Alrighty guys, let me know what everybody thinks. And uh, thanks for watching. Have a good one. You guys thought, <laughs> you guys thought that I was going to cut the video, didn't you? <laughs> well, there's a lot more to this video than what I'm going to explain. Last, the first time I was on the trails was in either 2009 or 2010. I think it was 2010. Ooh, beautiful picture of the power lines. So I was on these I was on this type of trail back in 2010 and it was I think it was in the summer of that year. Or maybe it was in the spring, I don't remember, but the weather was really nice and the temperature had to be in the 60s when I was biking at that time. So um it's gonna, I've, I, first time I tried the bike trails, Ray Hill Memorial, I said, you know what? I'm gonna try this one for myself and see how far I can go from one trail to the other. Then the surprising thing about it is after, like when I get off, I'll show you where the trails lead to. And trust me, it's not going to be that long of a walk, but this will be part three of the video. And 
you can see leaves falling down quite a bit. So it's not too bad. So I'm gonna be a very busy guy uploading all three videos and combining them into one video on YouTube on my new channel. But I just wanna get in touch with everybody and let and let each and every one of you know about it. So if you have YouTube, subscribe to me and it won't be that far before we end up over there. When you get off this section of the bike trails, you're gonna lead into Clark Mills, but we're not gonna go that far to Clark Mills. Sorry for the windy, sorry for the wind though. I'm gonna try and do something to cover up my camera's mic so it doesn't make a, you know, a harsh windy sound when you're filming because it's ridiculous. And not only that, it's gonna take the life out of you if you don't do something about it. So, alrighty guys, catch you in a bit. Okay guys, I had to stop over by the marshes. This is the marsh right here. Just like the Utica Marsh, but we're at the New Hartford Clark Mills Marsh. You can see some of the beauty that surrounds it. It would be a very good picture, you know, if you want to capture its life, you know, breathtaking moments. Yep, I'm on my bike. Specialized is doing good. So, alrighty. And if you guys want to read the whole thing quickly, you can pause the video at any time. Alrighty guys, we're back on the trails. I had to stop and take a breather, drink a little water. Cause I got plenty of water to take with me, so. You can still see the marsh from over here. Sorry if I'm uh, shaking too quickly in the video, but I just want to show everybody what I do in my videos. So this is probably going to be the last season for Viking, but you never know in this fall weather what kind of weather we're going to have. So. And then right at the end, you can see some cars there. That's, you're gonna turn into Clark Mills right here. We're gonna stop quickly and review the uh, You can see the river over here too. See that, see that highway right over there? You're on Judd Road. Then if you go on the bike trails, you're gonna head on over to Clark Mills. Alrighty guys, again, if you wanna read the whole thing on here, pause the video and just scroll through the words because this is what it actually means. So, alrighty guys, catch up with you in a bit. Alrighty guys, we're on the last run of the bike trails. Cause I'm not gonna go as far as I can because when the weather gets hot at any time during the summer months and sometimes into the fall months, you're gonna start to sweat your butt off and it's not gonna be good. So, when you're out on the bike trails, especially if it's in the 80s right now, you're gonna have to take water with you and you're gonna have to 
hydrate yourself as much as possible. So, alrighty guys, see you on down the road. Alrighty guys, I'm over on Clark Mills Road. This is where you are at now. Clark Mills Road, half a mile. And you're gonna see a whole lot of cars on that street because over here is Judd Road, as I've mentioned. So, and you're gonna see traffic from up here. Alrighty guys, what do you guys think? Expect to look for this video during the week. I'm just about 10 minutes onto the video, so uh, when we do get up to uh, the Clark Mills section, I'm gonna cut the video. Alrighty, guys. This is Ray Hill Memorial. And then if you're in here, you are, te you are um, technically in Clark Mills. So I'll tell you guys about Clark Mills. Alrighty guys, you were, we're right here at Clark Mills. This is Clark Mills Road on this section right here. And on the other section is also Clark Mills Road. And plus there's another bike trail that leads up to Halsey Road, which is also half a mile. But I'm not going to go to that. I'm not going to go there. Maybe I'll do it in another video. But for all I know, I may not do that video yet. So I hope everybody enjoys the video. Um, let me know what everybody thinks and don't forget to comment on here and uh, alrighty, take it easy.